Hello guys and today I'm going to pursue with the second topic of our uh, business intelligence for Microsoft Power BI. So right now I'm introducing Power Query which is the first feature uh, which is provided by Microsoft. Uh, so mm, you can see there is a, a small extra option which is not available by default. You have to add in. So uh, if you want to add this option then you have to uh, just write over there power query power query excel power query download so you can redirect it to the uh, microsoft power query add-in and you can uh, download it from the official microsoft website and uh, then you can easily you can you can click on download and you can uh, select the please select it uh, as per your uh, excel bit if it is 32 bit then download this one if it is 64 bit then download this one if once you have selected then uh, you can add in uh, uh, add in simply here you can go to the file and you can go to options and now you can see add in add in in add-ins you can go to the excel add-in so you can you can see i have this add-in right now so you can add your add-in also let me show you um, file options add in and you have to select sorry by mistake so you have to select com add in so in com add in you can see there are a few i have already added microsoft power query for excel you can add it here you can add and uh, whatever the downloaded file you have you can add it from there you can directly install it also because this is a exe file you don't need to add in and you can if if uh, this option is not available then also then you can uh, you can uh, check this from com add-ins so that you can uh, have this option so that you can uh, start power query so first option you can see in power in power bi it's uh, it's power query so uh, how to uh, what is the use of power query power query is nothing is is just to connect data to transform data to get a, a summarize view you can connect any external source of data by which you can manipulate data you can create charts you can create uh, anything uh, and you want to summarize you want to uh, and it will uh, first uh, which is very useful and very uh, competitive kind of information which i am sharing with you because uh, if you are going to link any kind of uh, information with the external source it will redirect it to the website and it will automatically update all your data whatever you have so let me share with you an example so first we have you can see uh, you, you if you go to the power query you can see the power bi option here so first i'm going to tell you the simple feature from web so from web feature is um, by which you can add any website on which data is available it will directly fetch it from there and put it into the excel so how to do it so as i as i have done is worldwide gtp so it will uh, get me the link so i will click on the first link which is available here and i will pick up this link so you need to pick up the link source data where you want to pick your data so uh, I will add this link here so it will connect it will connect it through the link and it will redirect me to the data which is available on this website as you can see the data is available for GDP for GDP in millions of dollars so I will I, I need this data so I can because there are some uh, I need some transformation also transformation means to uh, before loading into Excel I need to clean some data also because you can see there are two headers and two columns are reflecting here so I will click on edit option here so let's suppose I want to remove first column then uh, there is an option available here is uh, you can easily do it and uh, there is a transform option available here you can directly uh, transform you can add columns and you can uh, let's suppose I want to remove this column then uh, I will click on transform then I click on use first row as a header then it will reduce one row one row from this you can see it directly here and uh, if I want to remove null uh, run null then I can replace these values from null equal to blank 
so it will replace the value also so you can see now we have uh, data and uh, we want to remove the first column also then we can easily remove it uh, we can filter it out from here we can remove blanks and now it is filtered it out so now i have uh, cleaned my data now i want to load it into the excel then i will go definitely go to the excel and close this and load this into excel so now what is doing what power query is doing right now right now power query is always fetching the fresh data which is available on wikipedia as a, as a source you can see in wikipedia always data is correct so uh, uh, may, uh, on most of the cases and worldwide gdp you are uh, you will get all the gdp's update whatever uh, done by wikipedia on the particular page it will automatically get updated here you not need to do anything and uh, data get populated automatically and the transformation which you have done it automatically get updated every time you download the data so once you have refreshed the data you can you can see it, it is it is going to the let me show so So I will filter it out the null one and select I think so I will load this data now you can see uh, we have everything here let's suppose I want to remove the first column then I can edit edit this and there is no use of this column so I will remove this column right click and remove and close this now we have raw data which is connected uh, through a particular website so this is our states i can remove i can edit here also because so these are states uh, countries sorry country and these are gdp now we have the data particular uh, so that i can create some charts on it so let's suppose I want to quickly create some charts and so to create those charts I want to select the raw data. So one thing which I which I have, uh, which is not here is because right now this this is in not in number format that's why it is not taking the sum so i have to change the data type because you can see data type is text right now so i have to go and click on decimal values so it will convert my text value into numbers so that we can easily get those updated here so now you can see the highest gdp we have for us we everyone everybody knows us is the uh, uh, superpower and uh, it have always have uh, bigger things in the us so you can easily see here if you want to change the data, chart data type you can uh, easily change the chart type also here you can go right click right click and select chart type uh, you can cl click on pie chart you can bar chart mm, let's suppose i want to take this one Okay. So now uh, I have converted the chart bar chart into this one. So now you can see uh, I have created a chart with the which is linked directly to the website data. And I am not uh, uh, if I do it manually in Excel, it will take hardly uh, it will take most of my time to get exported data, and we have to do it manually again and again. And with the help of Power Query, you can link your uh, your website to it and it will directly pick up data and transform data whatever the changes you have done in data and it load it into there and whenever you get refresh you will uh, refresh every value here whatever you have so you can easily easily get those refresh and you can get all the datas here so this is a, a, a simple power query option which is provided by in next video we will share in details how how we can transform uh, more how we can transform advanced level uh, 
uh, by which we can get transformation easily by using simple GUI modes. And thanks for watching this video and uh, definitely we will go to the uh, next session. And if you like the video, do share and please like. Thank you so much for joining.